Hmm. Intro. Hi guys, uh, this is Benny, and I'm Drew, and today we will review introducing the Kujus. So if I look at the IMDb, it says, um, introducing the Kujus tells the story of siblings who have been at crossroads since their mother's death. So let's check this out. <laughs> we used to do things together before now everybody has a good way. Don't tell me that you're expecting the rest of the family to come over next weekend. Who told you that this time will not be different? Why would it be different? Just... I say it will be different because I have a plan. And that's it, the arrival of our Tumba. Money bag. Money stop nonsense. Our Tumba is here. Are you okay? Why did you fight? <laughs> not sorry, Santa. This could you family out. Something about the way she moves, I can't explain it. Hey, John, go on today with you. I'm going to know manners. Go on today, Lee. I'm a tani. My name is Chooks, a uh, political science major. Uh, soon to be a uh, bar owner here in Badagri. You, 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 you study political science. Now you want to be selling kai kai. Hey, let's be a woman. Hey, hey, be my lady. Hey, no, let Pastor, you don't know these children. They are not innocent at all. They are just pretending. Look what you're buying. You don't know you have disappointed this family with too many times. You what? Let me know. You are the stupid one. Um, I think the first thing that it reminded me of is um, is um, my Greek, big fat Greek wedding in a way because it's like wow. families coming together. But this right. was uh, this was like a mix of everything. It wasn't just one tone, right? It was not just comedy. It was also drama. A family drama, yeah. And. Uh, and hmm. Yeah, for from our movies, uh, from Indian um, Bollywood movies, what it reminds me of is uh, Kapoor and Sons, because if you yeah. if you remember the trailer, it was kind of in the beginning, it was kind of comical, but then all the problems pop up uh, mm -hmm. that you know someone might. Right. So it's uh, it's like uh, you can see that in the beginning it's all cool and nice and uh, nice family reunion, but then everybody has some. Uh, skeletons in the closet and that's how it's with every family and these were a bit more you know uh, very involved very argumentative and lots of uh, action you can see over here not actually in the sense of fighting and violence but a lot of things going on yeah and and uh, I also like that uh, they're just I, what I loved about it is just it's not one tone Right, you you get all the flavors of um, every different emotion, and um, right. because like when I read the IMDb description, it's like people coming to you know siblings coming together after the death of their mother. I couldn't have guessed that there was going to be a comical element to it. So I'm glad that it's not a one tone kind of a movie that mm. it sounds um, right. a fun watch. Uh, something I liked is uh, there was a lot of 
you know, a nice variety of the color. It's not monotonous and dull. I mean, if it's about somebody's death and then people coming together, uh, you would expect that it would be a bit dark and sort of thing. But this one is a lot of vibrant colors. And that's all that's going on. Altogether. I think that's kind of goes along the story as well, that the story is not one thing. The movie is not sh shot as a comedy or a tragedy. And, and I think the colors also add to that. As you said, if it were a tragedy, it would be, at least in the West, it's like duller weather, duller colors. It's like blacks or grays and, you know, it's just very morose. But um, mm. I like this take on it that it's, not necessarily that way. And I wonder what the cultural difference is there. Like in certain cultures, that when someone dies, they believe in celebrating their life versus mourning their death. And I wonder how it is in Nigeria. Is that the same way? Like, because we mm. didn't see a lot of people like crying. We saw some celebration and we saw arguments. Huh. But th those True. are different necessarily about uh, their mother dying they were more about the things that you know people harbor and this is very relatable because people as kids harbor a lot of things and they grow up and sometimes carry that with themselves right and they have this image of a person and they in the beginning when you even if it's your sibling and you haven't spent a lot of time with them and when you come across them as an adult some people do harbor those uh, old feelings and they have an impression of the person in their heads. And then that, if an argument comes up, people bring that up. Like you were always like, you were always so, so. Yeah. That's in the movie. It's a very human quality. That's what I. Right. Uh, what this reminds me of is that. Uh, that movie that you just suggested to me once, Meirowitz Chronicles, right? There was, again over there also, it was that same thing, you know, uh, brothers and fighting and, you know, they had this uh, kind of a jealousy, a sibling rivalry kind of going on, who's the best son, you know, those things. Uh, I think that's, that's, that is cross-culture, you know. Uh, you love your siblings and you hate your siblings, you're jealous of them, you stand for them. I think uh, this movie surely has uh, all those flavors that you would find, uh, you know, in siblings, what you find, what kind of relationships you find in them. It's of course not just one thing, you know, you can't just love them, you can't just hate them, it's a mixture of everything for siblings. I mean, you've grown up with them. Yeah, and I believe like Nigeria and, and most African cultures are closer to our culture as Indians because they are very, like, you know, in the US, it's a more individualistic society. So if you don't like someone, you are, even if it's your sibling or even if it's your parents, it's not, uh, it's like you can choose not to talk to them. We don't, but as Indians, we feel this duty that even if you don't like someone in your family member, you're going to stand by them no matter what. Yeah. And I feel that yeah. maybe, I, I'm guessing Nigeria is the same where the community feel is very strong, like, like our culture. And so, mm -hmm. but with that comes a lot of like, if you, if you have a problem, then they're always in your face or, you know, you you have to fight and you have to eventually figure out a way to coexist. You can't just be like, I don't like this. I'm going to ignore this problem. I'm not going to deal with it ever. That's the good yeah. thing about um, our cultures is like, you know, you felt bad, deal with it, find a solution. And, and move on. With it. Yeah. And, and, you know, still maintain the relationship. No. I, I can totally, I would totally bet on this that uh, they fight, but they come together. You know, whoever, mm -hmm. whoever the siblings are, they fight and then yet they come together. Yeah. And I and did you understand? I didn't really understand that portion. There was something about the prophet. I think there is some religious funny aspect there as well. I don't know mm -hmm. what that was about. I didn't really understand that much, but um, I think there no, was um, yeah, that is one thing about the trailer. I didn't see in exactly what uh, what is the problem or to, that is being addressed over here. It seems to be a lot of things going on with uh, so many siblings. 
So it's not something with a, with a singular theme or a plot. It seems to be, you know, a lot of things going on for various different characters. I think it might just be that it's an exploration of uh, human psychology of different characters. Mm -hmm. uh, just like right. that, it, that there isn't like, uh, you know, some, it's not like, oh, this is the beginning. This is the, this is what we learned. It's more about like, I guess, I would guess that how they dealt with their, the passing of their mothers, how they fought with each other and yet came together and, and, yeah you know, as a family. It seems like there was this one uh, female character who was, you know, throughout kind of uh, playing the lead role, uh, lead role in the sense where she's the one who's trying to bind everybody together after the mother's passing. So, of course, there's a problem with the family going on, but she's the one who's trying to, you know, keep everybody connected. That's what I felt with one of the yeah. leading characters. And we know those kind of characters in our families as well. Those are the most stressed exhausted people who are like oh how do you manage this you know like our mom yeah so it's, <laughs> those are the most i think uh, it's mostly um, i think do that yes yes i think everybody would relate to uh, relate to some of the other characters like that in their own family everybody has that i'm sure especially in our cultures definitely i i wouldn't think that it's relatable to all cultures, but I would say like mm -hmm. Indian culture, we always like see things like that. So I thought yeah. oh, I would like to watch something like that. I I do doubt that uh, I might be able to get all, all the humor in it. It might be very cultural. Mm -hmm. um, right. Yeah, some, some things we might not get, but I have- That's what, a given, that's a given, yeah. yeah they do not get the kind of global credit that they should be getting and i think yes. yeah like big fat greek wedding i don't if it were a greek movie do you think it would have been that popular like it's ah, exactly. a cult movie now yeah. mm. and, and so you know i i think it's very cool they're making these these kind mm. of so it is hey guys so if you liked our video please subscribe to our channel and until next time we'll be yeah, film See you guys.